Coño. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm here with my two cousins, and you guys I knew this video was coming already because I had posted on my Instagram story to ask us little TMI questions, and yeah, I really went TMI. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, this is Jada and Monica. Hey, so y'all know me already. Well, y'all don't know me, but y'all know of her though. Y'all yeah, know, know of me. her. Y'all yeah. know me. So I got a little bit of questions here that I'm gonna answer. I posted on my Instagram story. If you guys didn't peek that, that's your fault. Cause if I don't follow me, what are you doing? Right. Like, right. How are you subscribed and not following me? Right. right. We've been through the first, bro. Right. So go ahead and like that button. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, we're just gonna answer questions that like you would ask if you had like older sister, a mom, a friend. Or if you're a guy, you ask questions that like you know that you want to know about females. Like, are we gonna spill all the tea? We're we gonna tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Mm -hmm. So the first question is. Oh, let's start with this one. Okay. It says, "How do you shave down there, and how often?" First of all, wait, rule number one. one. Rule number one. Don't shave. Yeah. Rule number Don't one. Don't shave. Don't Yo, you gonna get no not to shave down there. Yeah, you gonna get are a killer. Yo, don't do it. it. Don't do it. Don't just wax. Yeah. It's yeah. gonna hurt. So wax. go and wax. Yeah. yeah. Unless no. you don't have sensitive skin like that, you wanna use like layers. Yeah, you could. It depends because everyone's skin is different. Because some people they don't get razor bumps. Facts. Mm -hmm. But I just recommend that you just avoid razors. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Or, unless you wanna go the extreme and get like laser. Yeah. But Yo, you got money, so, but yeah. it, that means you're Jeez. banking. Chill. Right now. But nah, nah, for real, waxing is the way to yeah. go. Yo, yo, things gonna be smooth. Yeah, for, for days. Like, days. For days. For weeks. For mom, for weeks. Bro, literally, you can go get a wax, and then your next wax is gonna be literally next month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, four weeks. Yeah, mm -hmm. four weeks. Nah, but like, you know, I know some people can't really afford like getting a wax. Like, what if you like in high school and you pop? You know what I mean? Right. So, <laughs> you get a, should. Get a job to get that thing. Like, Facts. You are. Like, you know, at the beginning, you know, you might just cut only Not shave. Me. So, I mm -hmm. suggest. That you should like exfoliate you, your skin. Yeah, I was yes. just gonna say that if you do shave, exfoliate. Yeah, exfoli and you should even exfoliate even when you're waxing. Yeah, facts. Yes. Because that prevents ingrowth. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you should definitely exfoliate. And I know there's this other product called Ten Skin. And I don't know, some people say it's good, some people say it's bad. I tried it once and it worked. And it's I like it's like yeah. an alcohol based thing that you put it after or before, like after a shave or a wax. And it prevents like bumps and shit. Oh, really? and, like, yeah. But it smells like literally straight up alcohol. So some people be like, oh, it's bad because it dries up your skin. But I feel like that's the point. So like, yeah. like break your skin. Really? Or, like, I got like some pee. STF yes, yeah. So STF oh, thing in the bathroom, about. and you put it on literally, and it like flakes your skin, mm -hmm. and like it prevents ingrowns, no dark spots, mm -hmm. no nothing. I was like, Yo, show them, show them, show them. My coochie look cute as hell. We really gonna yeah. show you guys. We're gonna put y'all on, like we here for y'all. We're the big sis, bro. It's called PFB. I did seen that. PFB Vanish Ultra. Seen that shit. I seen that. I don't know if you. Can I'll see link it in the description box. Like, yeah, this fire. Your coochie gonna be see. looking real cute. Mm -hmm. It's like a ball, right? Yeah, it's like a ball. Like you roll ball. it, right? Yeah, yeah, girl. Blah, blah. Yup. That's nice. Every single night. This shit is fire. Every single night. How yeah. much was this? I'm Honestly, gonna like 25 bucks. Yeah. I know it's like a little on the pricier side, but yeah. you really gotta invest for your soul. Yeah, invest. Invest. It's 25, but it's so much worth it. It lasts. Time. It lasts a long time. It, it's like, so much worth it. Yeah. So that's the thing. He asked us. Mm -hmm. First kiss. Hmm. Ah, my first kiss. All right, who wants to go first? Yeah, we gotta go in order. You want me to go first? Sure. Yeah. All right. So my first kiss was. Oh my god. Like I think I was sixth or seventh grade mm -hmm. by this boy. Some way he was cute though. <laughs> okay. And um, or whatever. We dated for like a month, and we packed. I just pucked mm -hmm. it. Literally just. It was the best first kiss I've ever had. Really? Yeah. But the first time I like you know went all like whatever, it was not when until wow. like. Yeah, it wasn't until high school, honestly. Like, yeah. I was a freshman. Yeah, same. And I don't Can't know, relate. I was like, damn, bitch, this is freaky out here. No, I'm playing too. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that was your first kiss? Yeah. 
My first kiss was dead in the fifth grade, I remember. Mm -hmm. I was mad innocent, like, I haven't kissed, <laughs> like, that was my first kiss, and yeah. after that, I didn't kiss anyone until, like, fucking high school. Literally high school. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Nah, you're trash. No, it's, not, it's like, I didn't really, like, I didn't find any guy that attracted from my mm -hmm. middle school, so I was not about to just give my lips up like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, it was dead in the fifth grade, I remember. Just smacking. Can't really yeah. I remember I had a crush on him, too. And that was that my first kiss. I was like, wow. But then after, I was like, what's the hype about? Like, it wasn't even all crazy. You feel me? Like, wait, but the Jolly like like your first kiss? I mean, it was it was fine. It was like regular. Yeah, it was regular. Like, like it wasn't was no tongue kiss. It was literally yeah. Tongue. It was like no tongue See, kiss. See, I can't relate. Bro. I didn't have tongue kiss until I was a ninth grader. <laughs> I'm dead. I didn't. Dead. I didn't I no, know. no, it wasn't even really high. Let me explain. So I was in summer camp, like you know, summer. So I don't know if I was going into seventh grade or eighth grade. I don't know. Mm -hmm. One of those two years. So. I was in summer camp and like this boy liked me for like a really long time and I did not like him. So then, we, my summer camp was like upstate, so there was like little cabins and shit. It was fire. Mm. It was fire. Yeah, a little bougie. No, mm. <laughs> no. So, so we, it was upstate. It was, it was fire. So um, my friends, you know how they peer pressure you. It's like, yo, go kiss him, go kiss him. I'm like, hell no, like nah, I don't want to. And then they like, fool, just do it, just do it. Come on, you know he likes you. I'm like, fine. <laughs> So we went to a cabin, right? But we had a whole audience. Like, first of all, what the hell? Like, so it's like, yeah. <laughs> Everybody come look at us. Man. No, but it was in the outside. I was like, but why y'all doing this to me? Like, for real. So we was in the we was in the cabin, and he leaned in. First. Like, I was just there, like, oh my god, what is going on? So he leaned in first, and then you know we kissed. But I was like. Ew, like, bro, back up. So I pushed him away because he was bugging. Like, mm -hmm. from my first kiss, I was like, whoa, first of all, like, and he did not know how to kiss, so I was tight. <laughs> so I was like, what the hell? Bro, the so then, I was, such a I, yeah, it was like, I was just turned off. I was like, damn, bro. Like, it's like, now he's ugly. I was just like, bro, whatever. Some little kiss. But, <laughs> I'm dead. I'll never forget that. Okay. How to get out of a toxic relationship? Mm. Depends what kind of relationship. Mm. Friendship wise, relationship wise. I feel like they're both the same though. Like, I feel like no matter what relationship like it is, you should always be honest and true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Number one. If you feel like you're in a toxic relationship, I feel like everybody is grown enough to know what the hell is going on. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Like everybody is so like you gotta be self-aware and you gotta know what the hell is right for you in that given moment. Mm -hmm. If you feel like you in a toxic relationship, you gotta wrap it up. That that ass, that you gotta ass. wrap it up and you gotta do everything possible to take care of your well-being and yourself. Mm -hmm. Exactly, bro. Like, put uh -uh. yourself first. Uh -uh. Bro, I hate it when I mean I get it because in the moment I feel like people are like they feel like oh no they can't leave. Mm -hmm. Like if they leave it's the end of the world. There's a difference between like oh I love him. And if he loves you, that's fine. But like, is he hurting you? Like, cause you can love someone and just be like, oh, he's hurting me, but I love him. Feel me? Yeah, and it doesn't even have to be physically. It could yeah. also be mentally, mentally, mentally emotionally. emotionally. Yeah. So if you feel like you're in a, in a unhealthy relationship, in a toxic relationship, which is unhealthy, facts. I say you should literally, even though no matter, you're in a no, like you're in a, in a toxic relationship. Cause exactly. there's no way that you're in a relationship and it's toxic and you just oblivious to it, like. You're gonna have a little, a little sense like this ain't right, but I'ma stay because I'm comfortable here. For me, like yeah, mm -hmm. don't ever stay because you're comfortable. Yeah. because at that point you're Worst settling. Mistake. Literally, no, you're settling. You never settle because yeah. you are great. The baddest. You're worth, you're worth everything. Cause you are beautiful. And that goes, oh, I mean, that's, that goes for <laughs> Yo, that goes for females and that goes for males, males too. Yeah, this is um, because I know males too. Sometimes girl, males they get like the shit end of the stick. Mm -hmm. You know, they, some guys are like. Substitute fathers for these females out here and it's like, you know, some girls don't really like grow up with that male figure And it's like they're doing everything possible and they don't get recognized for that and that's not fair I know so. they don't get enough credit facts. There's some kings out there. So some of them ain't mm. shit though mm. I want to get on birth control, but I'm scared of the side effects. I don't know what to do Have you I, been I've never been on birth control. Me either. I've heard a lot of stories. I've I know a lot of friends control. who are on birth control. But I've been on birth control. It doesn't mess up your period it totally messes well, your up body, your hormones. Your body. Yeah, your body. It totally your body. messes up your hormones, number one. I have heavy flow, that's me. Mm -hmm. so, um, and I feel like I go through every emotional possible when I'm going through you know, my menstrual yeah, cycle. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to do the safe side, whatever, and I wanted to go on birth control, but literally I would have my period for like 
two, three weeks at a time. Really? Yes. Yeah. Every different for everyone. And it's, and, and it's, yeah, and then you could honestly, and then you could just not have a period and mm-hmm. be backed up, and that's bad. Too. Yeah, that's yeah. so really bad. So honestly, um, if you do a uh, birth control, there are better options. Mm-hmm. Um, I know the injection There's is really good. Yeah, yeah, the, the pill, pill shot. The, shop. the injection yeah. is super good. The pill, it depends on what brand you go on. And also, like, you gotta be taking that shit every day, same and you time. Have to be, yeah, and you have to be Word. consistent, consistent with it. Yeah, 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 um, the patch is alright. I heard the ring makes you uh, gain I heard, I heard the, the implant gets lost. When they take it out, it fucks, it like gives you a little scar. Wow, uh uh-uh. You see, yo, it's like, yeah. It's like people, like girls don't always get on birth control because they're having sex. Like, it could be like to regulate your period. Your period, yeah. Because that's what, when I was in middle school, um, my period was so bad, I used to faint. I was fucked up. Bro, I used to throw up. I used to pass out random places and everything. And I never went to school my first day. Whenever I had my period, I never went to school the first day. Because I was like, bro, what? I would die on. That's literally me. So my mom, she took me to the hospital. She was like, this is not normal because my mom never had period. I mean, the kid. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. My mom never had cramps. Yeah. My mom never had cramps. So she's like, you're dramatic. You're dragging. I'm like, mom, nah, nah, nah. we're into everything. Crazy. I'm literally at the verge of dying right now. Literally. So she took me to the clinic and my doctor was like, oh, I'm going to recommend her these pills, these birth control pills. And right away, I was like, but I'm not having sex. Because like, I was like, not educated. I was like, bro, what the fuck? But then I ended up not taking them because I literally we used to forget and I was like, bro, not I'm not taking them. Yeah, I forget when no, that's bad. Pills, you can't yeah. you that's forget. why that's honestly that's why I stopped. I did it for like two months. Mm-hmm. Um and I would always I had to put a timer literally and even then because I would be at work sometimes yeah. I get so caught up. Yeah. And like I will forget. So mm-hmm. honestly, if you really wanna hop on it, just look at your options. Ask your physician what's the best possible yeah. way to hop on like birth mm-hmm. control to be honest. And also listen to your body, like you know your yeah, body best. Yeah, listen to your body. You know your body best. So another question that I saw was along those lines. It was like, do you get older down there during that time of the month? Everyone. Mm-hmm. Oh everyone my God! No, you get or- older. <laughs> everyone, <laughs> order, order. Everyone gets a little smile on their body. That's why you gotta keep good hygiene. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, alright, yeah. if you th- like, it's okay, it's natural, it's but healthy. It's but if you nah, hold on. Water. But if you like. Boofing and you just like walking in the streets and nah like that's a problem because it's not supposed that's to be that like that. No, that means like you need to change your path. Yeah, or something. that's yeah, what I'm saying. You gotta you gotta maintain yourself. But like, if you're naturally like that, then that means that something in your routine in your or inside healthy, your body, yeah, facts. it's not good. Yeah, so, you need to eat fruits, drink water, yes. eat like healthier like facts. cranberry juice is it's, a good flow of yeah, like making, juice your, making yourself go pee and mm-hmm. like yourself. Okay, There's your things. Body. There's something called not nani pearls. You stick them in there for like 72 hours. Really? Yeah, and they, oh, and they clean, to like you out, right? clean you oh, out, right? Yeah, I know. Pull them out, and all the dead skin and everything oh, comes out of like your vagina. Sure. That's like a, a like, tampon. Like, it's like a yeah, step, but like, you clean. Yeah, yeah, but you keep it in there. Like no sex for like five days, or you know whatever. Like no sexual intercourse or whatever. Mm-hmm. You want to do it when you're not on your period, also. Mm-hmm. And like you keep it in there for like not 72 hours. Well, maybe 72 mm-hmm. hours, but like five days or whatever. It's three five days. Three days, right? Yeah. Yeah. Probably three to five. Yeah, three five days, yeah. whatever. Everything is different. You look it up, whatever. You can find it on Amazon. And you stick it up there, whatever. And when you take it out, all the like dead skin, the flakes, like when you have your period, yeah. you have like, uh-huh. like, oh, yeah. and shit. Yeah. And you're lining, and it's supposed to, like, you know, you clean it out. And I, I have friends that have done this and have shown me, like, their shit. Well, because, you know, I'm like a medical, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yo! It's crazy, and they feel like it, you feel brand new. Yeah. And then, and now, yeah, it's good for you. Though. You get some Matt herbs. Fresh. You get some herbs, like um, herbs that are designated just to kind of like cleanse your nani. Mm-hmm. Um, and you like heat it on like a pot, and you put the pot anywhere, or whatever, and you kind of like let the pot steam. Mm-hmm. Hit oh, you. I know what you're talking about. Oh, that's like a vegetation. Yeah, like a vegetation. But the Yo, the herbs and everything was like it's something. honestly like it just like it's so good for you now. Yeah. So it's like you know if you kind of like. Skeptical, look into that mm-hmm. because you should definitely, like, you know, take care of yourself always. Mm-hmm. And your little girl. Teddy was like, hello, man. Hey, like, fuck out of here. Teddy's the other dog, by the way. Teddy! 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 Put her in the video. She's the goat. She's like a human. Yeah, she, she was is. sleeping with us. Bang! She knows Spanish. <laughs> yeah, but by the Good girl. 
She's one of the girls. Oh, yeah, she is. She's a girl one She's of them. part of us. How to protect yourself when having sex? Hmm. How to protect yourself? What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean yeah. by that? I don't know. Probably they're saying like contraceptives. Okay. Condoms. Condoms 100%. Because birth control does not prevent STD. Yeah, yeah. literally. Only from the Don't be anything else, no. Don't be an airhead, and I will be the first to tell you. I mean, it doesn't make you an airhead. Like, it's okay if you don't know. Yeah. Some people just aren't educated, and we're here to yeah, educate and, uh, you. We're going to educate you. If somebody tells me, oh, like, if you if you have, like, birth control, it prevents STDs. No, it does no, not. No, it doesn't. No, it does not. Please use a glove. Please. Thank you. A glove or no hug? But what else can you use actually? Like, that's it. Actually, they make condoms for girls now. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Love can take the vagina. They, they do. do. You gotta stick it up, like. Yeah, they do make they condoms. They make for girls. condoms for girls now. Mm -hmm. I've never heard. I've never tried never that. Tried them. <clears throat> I've never seen one and I don't know. I've where seen it. one. Really? Well, I've seen I don't one know. Too, but it's, like, it's like a. Like, it's it looks like a sheet of, of, of latex. Like yeah, that. and then and you, you just, just like, it put it. your fingers and you stick it up. Really? Yeah. yeah. And it just cuts the sexy shit. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I don't know, that's kind of scary though, because I'll be scared like that's like if the inside, goes in, like, like if it just stays stuck No, a guy can just pull it off, but a girl, they have to dig up in there, like, see, that's scary. Nice. I don't know, girls always struggle with everything. Gosh. It's annoying. Okay, someone said, has your skin always been clear? Any tips for someone with oh, acne slash oily skin? No. My, my skin My is skin used to be fried. No, I'm literally, I'm breaking out right now. Me too, I'm breaking out my chin. All over my cheeks as well. I feel like I've been... I break out the most when I get my period, like... Me too. Mostly. That time of the month really prevents it. Also, like if you touch your face a lot with like dirty hands, like if you're outside and you mm -hmm. touch your face. And your phone, yo, y'all don't think about it, but your yeah. phone got the most germs, and y'all probably mm -hmm. be putting your phones in your faces. Mm -hmm. like, Obviously, you're gonna be like, hello. Yeah. But like, I see how I'm on my phone. I'll literally just be like that. Like, yeah. And that will give me a little bit of dirt on my skin eventually. It'll build up and then. Yep. Back. Snap. So, like, uh, I know aloe vera, like natural aloe vera. Oh, yeah, that's. You yo, scrape aloe vera it off and you put it on your face. Mm -hmm. And you leave it on for like what 10 to 15 minutes. Mm. It like literally is so good right before you go to bed. It cleans your skin literally. Yeah. It, like, I have like the it. mask for that. Um, me, I tend to have to um, a lot dry skin actually, and I break yeah, me out. Too. Like, me I, have too. I have dry, dry skin. skin. My so, skin is dry. It's not oily. So I don't know about oily skin, but I have dry skin. So I tend to just have like. Things that kind of like moisturize. moisturize. Yeah, yeah so tea tree oil. Yeah, I yeah. use tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is. You have to oh. dilute it though. Yes. Yo, it's too strong. And they think stinks. Literally, one drop goes a long, long way, way, bro. Literally. And the whole face. And it's got to dilute. Yeah, it does. So it you don't use that much because it's going to stink. Mm -hmm. I use, I like to make my own mask though. Like, I be putting like oats and honey. Mm -hmm. And I mix it with a little Yo, essential honey oil. Honey is so good. You know that? Like with moisture. essential oil, just put it on, let that sip a little bit, and dry it off with like a damp towel. I'll be like, mm -hmm. and also, I like to like use like different lotions for my face. Like I don't know, I use mac products for my skin. Like I always, I wash my face twice a day, mm -hmm. in the morning and in the night for bed. And I be using like different lotions. Like and my, I use a different lotion for my face than I use for my body. Like. Well, I use it like though. you know that. Brand? Yeah, I know that brand. So Wait, I use it for the my lotion? face. Yeah, the lotion. Oh. I use it for my face, and I use it for my body. But I heard the face wash is really yes, good. Yes, I want to try it. I heard the face. The wash one that lathers really or the foam one? I don't know, bro. Honestly. I heard that shit was fire. I want to try it. I will get both. Just, I mean, to see. just to try yeah. it. I'm gonna make my skincare routine, so I'm not gonna tell you guys everything that I use because I'm gonna say that for some Stay video. tuned for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but yeah, just know something like it's really affordable. Like it's an affordable skincare routine. It's not something you can like a little bottle of fifty dollars. Like I'm not gonna drive it like that. Do you ever run around listening to music thinking about a crush? So they probably sing like, do you, does a song remind you? Oh, I yeah, know what you're trying I to say. Like if you, you not remind you, but like if you listen to a song, you really listen to lyrics. You be like, yo, when you picture you and that guy in your head, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like that person. I mean, I don't yeah, have a question right now, so no. <laughs> BTN. Okay. Let me stop. Okay. No, I do. It doesn't have to be with a crush. She had a boyfriend though. I have a boyfriend. Also. So she could. But I'm trying relate. to say, I'm trying to say, like, I, it doesn't have to be with a boy. Like, like I'm having like reminds me of a person. Oh, yeah. wait, wait, wait. People with girls stuff with people. Yeah, like my like, friends. Yeah, like yeah. it happens with everybody. Have, yeah, songs that sure. remind me of people. Not everybody. Or like yeah. moments in my life. Yeah. You know, like really vivid yeah. moment. Like that kid's country song. Me. I'm in the pursuit of happiness. That song reminds me of my 21st birthday because it came on and I was like. Lit. Super drunk, like I was literally in my freaking like 
my happiness, literally. So every single that's time good. I think of that song, when a song makes I you think of like my twenty first, but like or even like remind me of like a person. Um, any Spanish, an old school song remind me of my mom. Yeah, so like Sunday, no. like Saturday Wait. morning, Sunday morning. Yeah. It's like for me, like certain moments or wherever I am, like for me, like it will remind me of whatever. Me, I like literally. Like if I'm with you and I'm listening and I listen to that song a lot, every time that song comes on, I'm gonna be like, yo, it reminds me of that person. Facts. Mm -hmm. But like if it's like a love song or like a, a song that like relates to something in my life, then obviously I do that a lot. Like I like match songs with like memories. Yeah, me too. Memories. Me too. Yeah, yeah, I do yeah, that a me lot. Too. I feel like everyone does that though. Yeah. If you don't do that, then do you listen to music? A little, a little bit of drinking out of it. It's so ghetto. Mad ghetto. It doesn't even matter. That's what they give us in the Chinese spot. Yeah, the Chinese spot. So, like the whole bye. Y'all yeah, know y'all drink out of this like, Don't even try to act bougie right now. <laughs> Why is it that when you first have sex for the first time, so many emotions run through you? Teddy, you want to answer that? Because Shorty did 50 rounds before the video. <laughs> Teddy was getting busy with the Pelucho with Oh, OD busy. OD busy. <laughs> this is a question. It never failed. Wait, I forgot the question. Like, why do you go through, why are you so emotional after having sex with the guy? Because, because you share your body. Like, Bro, that's what you mean. You guys are connecting, your souls are on a different one. level. Yeah, like, right. you are connecting with somebody in yeah. such an intimacy you where you're so going to feel something. Right, yeah. Because you know, you're, you're sharing your body. You're literally, body. like, putting your world down and being vulnerable Literally, to that's your temple, so the fact so that... So, like, your, your body is your temple and you're sharing that yeah. with someone. You're making them a part of it. Of course, mm. you're gonna have feelings running through your Literally. mind, like, and that's normal. Don't think that you, yeah, like, weird. don't think that you're weird for oh, that. Yeah, or, yeah. Um, don't think that it was supposed to be a whatever occasion, mm. and you're not allowed to catch feelings, yeah. girl or guy. You're allowed to catch feelings because that's okay. Yeah. Like, what the heck? You're human. Who are them to tell you that you can't? It's, you Facts. feel what you feel, yeah. and if they don't, if they don't agree, just agree to disagree, and then call it a day. That's it. The oh. Right, how you about to tell me? Like, like, right, like, you crazy as hell. How do you stop caring what others think of you? Rule number one, never give a fuck. No, I give no fuck. It is, but it is. I literally, literally awesome. I'd rather yeah. say it though to be like, oh, don't give a fuck, and have that in your head, drilled in your head, like, don't give a fuck. Even yeah, though you're still gonna no. give a fuck subconsciously. I don't give a fuck. Honestly, no, nobody it comes knows. down to, it, it comes down to like how you view yourself. Like, if you Facts. if you love yourself, then you're really not gonna care. Like, it Facts. just comes naturally. It comes with that, you know. Facts. Like, nobody knows what not you're going through. Only you know what you're going mm -hmm. through. Yeah, for me, like you know what you're going through. You know what you put yourself in. Like, and for somebody to step out of their character and tell you that you're this and like have like this opinion for you, honestly, you should take that and just smile and be like, wow. You really sat here and really generated some type of hate for me. That's mad energy. Facts. No matter what you think, mad of me, even energy. if it's good energy or bad energy, that person still produced energy on your name and your persona. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So that should feel good. Right. Never take it as negative because yeah. it's like you know you're still you still getting their attention. Facts. You still Facts. getting them worked up. Mm. You still want them to like you know they well you don't want them but they still want you to know how they, they like, feel how they feel. Yeah. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And it's like. Well, at the end of the day, honey, you're winning because right. you got somebody pressed because of you. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you should never, you should care enough where it doesn't bother you, you know, like in a negative way. Yeah. You know, like if it bothers you that much, then remove yourself. Mm -hmm. You pick and choose what the hell you want in your life. Facts. So. And I feel like if someone's talking about you, you do something right. Because there's no <laughs> reason for someone to be talking about you if they, if you have, you must have something that they want. Like. Mm -hmm. People, yes. people hate on what you have. Like they don't Always. hate because of what you're doing. Because you do, like they hate because you have and they don't. So exactly. If they talk, yo, if they talk your shit, then you should be lit. Yeah, then you pop it. Facts. Yeah, you pop it. yourself a glass of wine. Thank you. Cheers to that. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Okay, so another question was, why do girls go to bathroom? Why do girls go to the bathroom in groups? First of um, all, one is lit when you're drunk. You be like, yeah. Yo, you have to like, bro. It's a bomb. Yo, it's a if, bomb you go, in the if you're like in a in a big setting and you go to bathrooms with girls in groups, it's because either number one, y'all talking shit about something. Yeah, yeah. or it's for safety, cause bro. Yeah. Number two for, for safety. safety. Yeah, like, like hello, cause bro, you, know, you, know, you never to. know wherever you are. You never know, so Facts. you want to be able to have two of y'all. Yeah, at somebody, least, at somebody least. Somebody four eyes are better than two. Yeah. Five. 
Yeah. So, um, especially that, when you lit, you don't know what you're doing when you right? lit. You just exactly. be, you know, off the shit. So mm -hmm. you gotta have somebody there just in case. Exactly. You never know. And why else, girls? You'll be girl trying girl. to do some. So make sure you look good. Like, oh, I look good. I look good. Oh, yeah, like, 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 yo, I'm like, yo, like, 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 yo, 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 Facts, yeah. Bro, and that's another thing. I'm gonna make a question. Not a question, but like, let's talk about the topic of like, getting drunk as a female. Oh my God. Bro, if you're gonna drink, yo. Not saying that I'll be drinking, cause you know, I'm not even of age. You can assume what y'all want. This is, you can assume what this is. This is, you know, I'm crazy. <laughs> because deceiving, deceiving. But you know, who's drinking, who's not drinking like, Y'all don't even know. Y'all wouldn't know. This could be creamy, just we could be cap. Right. <laughs> nah, but um, Girls have to be careful. Mm -hmm. Guys too, but mainly girls because nah, girls are girls, always the target. Girls are, girls girls are, are easy, easy, easier to get than yeah. Not to like, be like, oh, girls are weak. I don't know. No, no, it's, it's just, bro, it's just the truth. It's just like, the easier target for guys. Yes. Like, so yes. when you're drinking, you have to make sure you have someone there. Yes. If you don't feel like you have someone there, that's gonna. Do if it, not, bro, you should definitely. Be home, yeah. get drunk, and know your number. Yeah. Because when you go out and you don't know your number and you're getting crazy, mm -hmm. that is gonna be the worst That's feeling in the world because, because you don't know who's there for you mm -hmm. sometimes. Even your realest friends could turn their back on you. So in that moment in time, you know, you just wanna be prepared for yourself Literally. and have yourself. You get me? So always be able to know what liquors are best that you can handle, yeah. what your number is, what you like. And just, you know, like, kind of just educate yourself or whatever. And also, if you leave a drink, never, no, never, 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 never right. come back and yeah, drink, don't yeah. please. I don't know what somebody said. Never, 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 no. never even take a drink from someone that you don't even know. Don't even your friend, either. Even unless your friend. you see them pour it. Yes. yes. Bro, yes. if you don't see someone sure. pour that drink, don't be like, yeah, I'll take you it. leave it, Toss it. don't, do okay. not come back to it, do not pick yeah. it up. Just get yourself a new freaking drink. Mm -hmm. Literally, cause nah, it's not worth it. Yeah, it's literally, not bro. Worth it could it. go, bro. You could black out like this, bro. Okay. And it's clear. You don't remember anything that happened. Right. But yeah, but at the same time, we're not saying you can't have fun. Like you can have fun, but like you yeah, just gotta fun. be safe with it. Just safe with it always. Hey, do not. not drink and drive. Literally, don't, don't, don't. Mm -hmm. And don't be mixing oh, dark and light. Please. Don't mix. Do not be mixing I will kill you. you. Literally, and then you'll get your stomach pumped, and that is not fun. Not saying that I have, but I know people who got have. And don't listen to those people that be like, oh, there's Sean and Sean. Yeah, like, one more, one more. Yeah. yeah. Like, Goodbye. if you know yourself, don't do it. Then. It's yeah. not, like, just so you could seem, like, cool dumb and stuff. DK, okay, okay, I feel it. You're gonna feel it later, though, and you're gonna die. Yeah, you're gonna be panicking. Everybody gonna be laughing at you. Girls, you girls poop? <laughs> Are you dumb? Oh, Are you what? healthy? If you don't poop, you're not healthy, bro. If you don't what? <laughs> Bro, that's like... No me a mí. Yo como como un hombre también. Yo. Bro, I, I poop like a grown know, ass man. Yo, okay. I poop literally at least twice a day. Stop Word, playing. Not Word, not like, like, playing. Word, like, what the heck? Y'all bugging girls, girls poop. If you bro, don't, bro, if you don't, like, you're not, you're weird. Yeah, like, you're bugging, not normal but, uh, if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what does I'm fine really mean? You're not fine. You're not. Bro, if a girl says I'm fine, they're lying. Word. Or they a guy, you're like, I'm yeah. fine. Y'all be wanting us to cradle you all, I'm fine. No, you're not. Nah. Or the girl too, like, oh nah, it's cool, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. That'd be me. No girl, girl. that'd be me. I'd be like, I'm fine. I'd be like, nah, it's because it, we no, go for attention. I don't know about y'all, but I'd be wanting that attention. Me too. I'd be like, come cuddle me. Yo. Come give me kisses. Give me the whole nine yards. I want all the energy. Bro, me. And if it's not, if I'm not it's fine. Not fair, then but I'm fine. fine. I just like, bro, just leave it on, bro. Like, I don't talk to you. Mm -hmm. For me. Mm -hmm. But. You'd be like, I'm fine, bro. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, you're not fine, but like you really want him to know that you're not fine without saying you're not fine. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Right. Read your mind, but yeah. he's not reading your mind. But you're mad that he's not reading your mind. But he can't really read your mind. Yeah. Right. I hate that. I hate but you. it's like you should really be here with it though, because right. he's supposed to understand you. Mm -hmm. right. No, he knows your body. Mm -hmm. Like, you feel mm -hmm. me? Are you here? Or are you not here? Like. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like you shouldn't even have to ask if I'
No? When is a good time? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's something you really talk about. Um, when's a good when time is, to have a boyfriend? I feel like, 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 like a, when is it a good when is it a good age to have a boyfriend? No, or like a part no, or like I don't a girlfriend. There's no age to be honest. Yeah, whenever you I don't think ready. about age, but I feel like you there is a time to have a boyfriend when you feel ready for it. Like, no, I feel like there is age. Not only that, I feel like age. Have, yes, I feel like you have to be at least older than a teen. You can have. I mean, oh. you can have one. Both. The final boyfriend like people have been together since like elementary. No, I know that's what I'm saying, but like that's your boyfriend, but that's more like your best friend. Like I also think of my like relationship as my companion though. And my companion, I would like to have the best friend relationship. Yeah, yeah I know. Being my best friend first. Yeah. So yeah. because they get to learn about you. Yeah, yeah, for real. And then you get to know whether it's worth it or not. I yeah. feel like yet to have find somebody like that. Oh. Having nah. a girl that's independent because Cut that guys out. be bothered. Yeah, guys be bothered. Guys when be bothered when girls are but like don't get it twisted. Just because I'm independent doesn't mean that you don't you don't have to like treat me and yeah, shit. Yeah, right? Like, right, right. I could treat you, that means that I could keep up with you. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like facts. if not, I could do better than you. Can I and I can inspire you. Yeah, like literally. don't ever get like offended when a shorty is doing better than exactly. you. Exactly. And like at the end of the day, yo, you want you, she don't need you. Like you, yo, you like, can be exactly. providing for her, she don't need to provide for her. Exactly. She can provide for herself. You me? At the end of the day, a shorty wants you because she yeah. she has everything else. That's like, bro, so that's like, number one. You gotta learn how to be independent, learn how to be alone. You don't have to feel like you need to depend on somebody. Like, Word. So, that was it for the girl talk. Yes. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Cause we really was talking. Te teo, te teo. <laughs> so, so, so. Pack it up, pack it in. Let me begin. So, that was it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was such a great chat. You already Bye. know we might do this a second time. Bye. We're gonna do this a lot. Like, a lot of girl chat. Girls. Yes. Um, if you guys have any more questions, DM me. Yes. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social medias and them as well. Because why not? They'll be linked down below. Thank you. <laughs> you can get me exposed. Get me Thank exposed. you. Thank you. So yeah, that will be all for my video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye. No fuimos. Wait. No fuimos. Wait. No fuimos.